Thank you Logitech for Creators for sponsoring this video. I've done a couple of other videos about the Logitech Mevo Start, a premium live streaming camera that makes it incredibly easy to shoot multi-angle videos without fiddling with tons of cables or complicated setup software. My final installment is about six must-have accessories for your Mevo Start camera. Now before I dig into it, let me start by saying that all of these accessories are not cheap, just like the Mevo Start camera. They're all on the premium side of things, and while there are certainly cheaper alternatives to everything I'm gonna talk about, the quality and long-term durability are worth the extra cost, in my opinion. So the first must-have Mevo accessory is a memory card, specifically a micro SD card. You can use the Mevo camera without a memory card if you just want to live stream, but you can also record the video to a memory card in case you want to save the video or edit and publish later, which is my personal favorite strategy. Now, my favorite memory card to use is the Samsung Evo 256GB microSD card. I like the bigger capacity because then I don't have to worry about running out of space. This memory card comes with an adapter so you can easily insert it into a card reader to connect it to your computer. To use it, just take the little microSD card and slide it into the slot on the back of the Mevo Start camera until you hear a click then you're ready to go. Now I've mentioned in previous videos that you get the most out of your Mevo camera system if you have multiple cameras, since the multicam function is the best feature of this camera system. Now in particular, the Mevo Start 3 pack is a great way to get started since it gives you three cameras. But Mevo cameras don't come with any mounts or stands, so you have to buy them separately because it doesn't really work to just let them sit on a table. So the cameras have a built-in quarter 20 hole, which is a standard tripod mount, so it's pretty easy to find compatible mounts. But my favorite mounts that I've been using lately with the Mevo cameras is this table stand. It's really solid, coming in at 3.9 pounds, and it's also height adjustable from 13 inches to 24 inches. And I love the top portion that has adjustable swivel ball adapters, so I can really lock in the angle of my cameras. Now I've been mounting other accessories on it besides my cameras, such as lights and microphones, so even though it's not cheap, it's $80, the versatility makes it worth it, to me anyway. Now the next mount I recommend getting is a floor stand. It's pretty lightweight and it folds down to 22 inches, so it's really great for taking on the go. It's also height adjustable from 24.6 inches to 58.3 inches, and it has a detachable swivel head mount to give you lots of flexibility for positioning your camera. I like using my floor stand to set my main camera angle, since I can set it at eye level and it can be placed anywhere in a room. The third mount that might be helpful for you is the Fence Clip Mini, which is meant to attach directly to a chain link fence, and that really speaks to a big user base of the Mevo cameras. There are quite a few people out there on the Mevo Facebook group and beyond who use these cameras to live stream sporting events. Now personally, I don't use the Mevo for that purpose, but I find that I can use the fence clip on my desk to get a low level camera angle, which is otherwise difficult to get with the table stand or the floor stand. Now this clip costs $100, but it's made entirely of metal. There's no plastic, so it will definitely stand the test of time. Okay, enough about camera mounts. Let's now talk about lighting. If you're planning to live stream indoors, then you likely need to have an external light because most indoor lights are not optimized for filming and it will make you look pretty bad on camera. My favorite live streaming light is currently the Logitech Lytra Glow. It's a compact and super lightweight light that clips to the top of your computer monitor via a pretty long seven inch clip so that the camera can slide up tall and you can also rotate it or tilt it. Alternatively, you can also unscrew the light from the clip to reveal a quarter inch tripod hole to put this light on another mount. Now to use the light, all you gotta do is plug it into a USB powered port and you can use the physical controls on the light to adjust the brightness and the color temperature. The Lytra Glow has a brightness of up to 250 lumens and color temperature between 2700 and 6500 Kelvin and it costs $60. 
The final accessory that I recommend for your Mevo Start is an external microphone. Now the camera itself has pretty good built-in microphones. This is what it sounds like to use the built-in microphones on the Mevo camera. But if you want the very best sound, then it's best to use your own microphone. And this is what it sounds like to use an external microphone such as the Blue Yeti. The Mevo Start has a 3.5 millimeter microphone jack for connecting any standard camera microphones. Now personally, I use the Mevos to film videos in my studio, so I prefer using a dedicated streaming microphone like the Blue Yeti, which almost needs no introduction because it's a super popular microphone among content creators and streamers. It's been around for almost a decade, can you believe that? It's a USB powered microphone that is plug and play and it is very easy to use. It's also pretty affordable considering what it is at 129 US dollars. The microphone comes with its own stand that you can use on its own on your desk or you can get a boom arm to better position the microphone. Because it's a USB microphone, you'll need a USB-C to USB-A adapter to use this microphone and any other USB microphone with your Mevo Start. So those are six accessories for getting the most out of your Mevo Start cameras, whether you're live streaming or taking your cameras on the go. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have any other accessories that I left out, then leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.